Well, hello again, everybody. It's John of John Havers Tech Photography here again with another Lightroom 4 tip for you. The other day we took a look at the process for creating a text-based watermark as part of an export preset to apply a watermark to a whole bunch of images in a, a simple export process so that you don't have to touch each and every individual image to put your watermark stamp on it. Well, somebody asked about doing a graphical watermark. If you have a custom logo or something like that created, could you use that? in the export process, uh, and sure enough, you can. The first step in that process, though, is to create your logo in either Illustrator or Photoshop or whatever other image editing program you're comfortable with, and then you need to save that file as either a JPEG or a PNG or PNG file. The difference between those two options would be dependent upon whether you want to incorporate transparency in your watermark. If you need to maintain transparency, you're going to want to save that file as a PNG or PNG file, which allows you to keep the transparency option. So here we have a sample uh, graphic that I'm going to use as a, a watermark. I'm going to do um, save for web uh, file and then save for web or uh, command option shift uh, S or control alt shift S on the Windows machine. And I'm going to choose the PNG option to make sure that the transparency checkbox is checked. So we'll click save give it a name, we're going to call it Grunge Watermark 2, save, and there we have our, our graphic ready to go to incorporate into a watermark preset in Lightroom 4. Back in Lightroom, we need to now create an export preset that incorporates a watermark preset that uses our new watermark graphic. So here I am in the Lightroom library module in the grid view and I've selected all the images that I want to apply this to and of course this is the advantage of doing this out of Lightroom is that you can apply your export with a watermark to a single image or an entire folder full of images and with the same level of effort it's very simple very quick and easy to do uh, but first again we need to create that export uh, preset so with my images selected that I want to apply this to I'm going to go to the file menu choose export or I could control click or right click on one of the selected images and it'll give me a pop-up menu with an export option. In the export dialog box then you see down on the left hand side I've got a bunch of export presets already created to output files at, at particular sizes and resolutions and things of that nature. Well if I want to say process these as 4x6 with my watermark applied uh, I'm going to choose the preset that I've already created to export at 4x6 printable resolution and that gives me the uh, export location, it gives me the um, file uh, uh, size and the uh, color mode and the resolution, all that sort of thing. Uh, but it also gives me, which is not selected here, an option to add a watermark. So I'm going to check the watermark checkbox in this case, and that makes this uh, drop-down menu to, to choose a watermark available. I can choose one that's already created, or in this case we want to create a new one, so I'm going to check uh, Edit Watermarks. This brings up our watermark editor. We get a preview image here. We can choose different preview images if we kind of want to you know, see how it's going to look in different locations. And you'll see that um, by default, it comes up with the text watermark option already selected. Now, we looked at that in a different tutorial. What we want to do here is apply our graphic that we created. So I'm going to go up to the top right of our watermark editor and click the graphic uh, radio button and then navigate to the folder where I've saved that watermark uh, PNG file that we created earlier. Here it is, Grunge Watermark 2. I'm going to click Choose. And you'll notice then in the preview that we now have our graphical watermark appearing in the lower right, or lower left, sorry, corner of our preview image. Well, it's a little small and it's not in the right position, at least not where I want it. So let's make a few changes. We're going to scroll down the right hand side of our watermark editor screen. And the first thing I'm going to do is make that watermark a little larger by changing the uh, proportional slider here. And that looks about right uh, for, for most purposes here. Uh, I don't want the watermark to be 100% uh, opaque, so I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit, uh, actually down to about 50% or so. Uh, I also want my watermark in the lower right-hand corner of the image. That's for whatever reason, that's where I typically put them. And so in order to get it to the right-hand side of the image, come down to the very bottom of the right side of the watermark editor dialog here and click the lower right anchor radio button. And that slips it over here to the right-hand side. 
Now I don't want the watermark pressed right up against the edge of the image, so I'm going to come back up here to the inset sliders and adjust just a little bit uh, so that the watermark moves in and up a little from the right hand side of the image. You can adjust it to wherever you want. You put it right in the middle or wherever you want it to be using the combination of anchor and inset sliders. So that defines the look of the image. Okay. When we click the Save button, we get an opportunity to name it. I'm going to call it uh, Grunge Watermark Lower Right. And click Create. That adds it to our list of watermarking presets. And you see by default now it's selected when I get back to the Export dialog box here. If I wanted to choose a different one still, I could. But the one we just created is already selected, and we're good to go. The last step is uh, just to click the export button. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then we'll come back in a minute and show you the result. And here we have our folder of finished watermarked images. Uh, Lightroom has put them in the folder I specified. There were enough images here that I was able to go out and turn on the sprinklers, come back in, check my email, uh, do a couple of other things. But now I'm, I'm back with the folder of finished images. We can take a look and see how that process works. You can see the graphical watermark there in the same exact location for each and every image. And all I had to do was do it once. So there you have it. That's uh, the variation for creating uh, graphical watermarks in Lightroom 4. This is John of John Haverstick Photography, and I'll stop back again soon for another Lightroom 4 tutorial.